What's good, everybody? Welcome back. We are back after a couple of weeks of not posting. We apologize, we've been busy, but um, coming back with something a little different. Uh, we're bringing a little sneaker action into our channel. Uh, a lot of people who know us know we love sneakers and love uh, shoes just because of being around basketball and everything. So our first sneaker video is gonna be uh, Marcus here. As you guys know, he went to Marquette University Great university sponsored by Jordan Brand. Um, yeah, it's been a partnership for about six, seven years. Um, you know, us as a family, you know, us as a, us three brothers, you know, something we're really big into is, you know, the sneaker sneaker world. Um, some people we like to, you know, watch and keep up with is definitely Complex, um, 2J's Kicks, you know, Perfect Bear. I mean, we watch those videos and see all that kind of stuff. Um, just because that's what we're around, you know, that's kind of our culture that we kind of taken on ever since we picked up a ball. So shoes has been, you know, a big part of our lives. I know this being the first sneaker video we're doing, this is a little taste of what, you know, I personally have like with PEs and stuff, you know, playing at Marquette, I was really fortunate, you know, to be a part of a program that had PEs and were able to give us PEs. So, um, yeah, so this, this is a little sneak peek. It's nothing compared to what these two have because these two have been at it longer than I have. So their collections are unreal. Desmond has, the craziest quantity of shoes as well as quality. Then Jordan has, you know, some of the most expensive shoes I've seen. A lot of stuff not, not a lot of people have. So, um, you know, like anything in life, being the youngest, you know, I kind of just take from these two. You know, I learn from these two and shoes has been something I'm, I'm a little late on the party on, but um, something I've been kind of heating up as time's going on. So this is just a little sneak peek of what I got. Um, but yeah, these are some bangers I'll say for sure. And be before we get started, what's a PE? A lot of a lot of people out there aren't sure what a great point. I, a lot of people don't know know what a PE is. So a general release. I mean, you can go to Foot Locker, or House of Hoops, any of your local sneaker stores, and get a Jordan, a Nike that comes out. It might be limited. It might get released. Um, but a PE is it stands for Player Edition, and basically these are exclusive shoes that are given to specific teams and or players on different brands. Um, that are limited. The quantity is very low um, and you can't get them unless you're a part of the team or have a connection to the team. So when we show you these sneakers, I mean, you can look them up, you're not going to want to pay the price. And the price is what it is because they are so limited. So in Arizona, there might be someone that loves sneakers that had to pay five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars to get these shoes per pair. Um, because of how limited they are. So these are very special. These are 15 um, plus. Yeah, 15 plus, you know what I mean? Every pair 15 plus. So, so you know, these, these sneakers are special to Marcus. Um, we're blessed to be able to, you know, see them, hold them. Um, Marcus having them in his possession. And something that we're, we're never looking to sell. Like, it's never about the money. And for me, when I started collecting shoes, it was really in high school, you know? And I love Jordans, I love Nikes. Um, and Jordan took it to a whole new level with collecting, and I've collected over the years. And then Marcus just has gone crazy. SBs, um, Nikes, Jordans. And when you talk about PEs, that's not even, you don't talk about that in the collection because most people don't have PEs unless you acquire them or have real money. So yeah. these, these sneakers are very, very special. Um, and we're here to give you guys something special as usual. So Marcus. Yeah, it's one thing to, you know, anybody can collect and anybody can buy and anybody can, you know, spend a crazy amount to get a PE, but it's a different type of connection where you're able to actually play for the university, um, represent the colors that stand for the shoe. Yeah. Um, so for me, I feel it's a different type of nostalgia. And you know, I'll start off first year. Um, big thing about these boxes, they have the sample tag on the front. Um, they have my name on the side. So every shoe that I'm going to show, there's probably only at the most 20 pairs of each shoe. Um, so this was the first shoe I got my freshman year, um, the Jordan 13 Low. Um, this was about the second year after Marquette started and Jordan School started getting PEs. Um, so the 13 Low was the second shoe Marquette ever got in a PE. The first one was the year before me and it was a Jordan 2 Low which in my opinion wasn't very appealing. Um, so the Jordan 13 low was the first PE I got. You know, not the same as the regular 13 with the higher upsole, but still unreal. Got the MU on the front, the pattern of the baby blue, the gold and the navy blue. Um, you know, so. Clean. No, no, not really. But, um, you know, I think this shoe represents, you know, my freshman year. 
definitely humble beginnings for me in my college career. It wasn't always easy. Um, definitely had to make my way. Um, fought for everything right from the jump, and you know, it was very deserving at the end. Had a great freshman year. I uh, was able to build off a lot of things. We had a really good team. Um, so yeah, first year. First year. First year was a pretty good, good year in terms of the shoe with the PE. So I was very fortunate for that. So that's the first one. Very nice. And you can see the zero right here. Yep. So only about probably 20 pairs and ever made. Um, and, and just so you guys know, all these shoes are unbelievable. The one thing that I personally love are the logos. On the, most of the tongues, if not all, there is a beautiful logo, Mark Q, or excuse me, Marquette MU logo, beautiful. And it stands out. The inside, they have their colors, unbelievable. Insole, stupid. You don't want me to pull it out, we won't. Okay, but yeah, I'll say that. So I'll say that about PEs too is like the quality that goes into them. You can see like all the details. details. We'll, we'll get the, the last, the last yeah, shoe last has pair. the most detail. Um, okay, so on the sophomore year, um, you know, more prominent role on the team. Um, so it was it was a lot of fun being able to grow and progress. So going into my sophomore year, one of my favorite shoes. Um, I, I would say that all the shoes I got in terms of being a PE were the best shoe you could wear as a, uh, in Jordans and Retros. So the next year I got a three. Um, Jordan threes, in my opinion, are the most comfortable. Um, same thing Desmond was talking about, you know, with the, the different details. Um, the MU on the front, um, unbelievable. Um, we have the elephant print on the front and the back, which is, which is great, reminds me of kind of like a bread three. Um, on the back, you know, the Jordan Air in different colors yellowing on the bottom with the Jordan, gray bottom. Um, I like how they stay true to the insole too, how they yeah. have the insole. You, how they have, yeah. we'll get it on the D-roll. And I'm not a real fan of like different color laces, but those gray laces are crazy. Yeah, they're like, really good. I'm off. surprised I like those gray laces. Those are crazy with the elephant print. And I like how they stay true to the elephant print too. Crazy. Like they stay true to an original OG Jordan's Reeve, Ooh, so which, nice is, too. which is switch the colors. You know, Ooh, like, so like nice. for me, I always talk about threes. I mean, my first pair of Jordans um, that I was really gifted, came from these two, but one of the first ones that I truly loved and always cherished was the True Blue Threes. Jordan got me those for one Christmas. And, you know, for me, like, those are always a shoe that hold dear to my heart just because those were one of the first for me. And I loved them, felt, loved how they felt. And same thing kind of reminisced with the Threes. When I, when I saw when we got them, uh, they usually always get them at the end of the year, close to the NCAA tournament. So anytime you get a box in your locker with a sample tag on it, it's like Christmas. So, uh, shout, out, I knew what that felt like. shout out to my man, Jake Pursuity, JP, JP, uh, Syracuse grad, um, JP. you know, been the gear guy for us at Marquette ever in my time there, you know, it's like family to me, so I appreciate all, all the love you always show it, but when he, when he, when those were my locker, man, I gave JP a huge hug, because yeah. those were huge. That's crazy. Threes were the huge ones for me, crazy. so. I wish I knew what that felt like. I'll tell you what my favorite are at the end. Favorites on the next. We'll, we'll all decide what's our favorite. Okay, yeah, I don't, don't want to spoil. All right, so <laughs> next one, junior Spoiler. year. Junior year. Um, <laughs> junior year was a big year. Um, you know, for us as a team, you know, we were able to, you know, maintain about eight weeks in the top ten. Probably one of the best teams I played on. Um, so just a great year overall. Um, a lot of great games, a lot of great highlights, a lot of great wins. Um, so I think that year was really big in terms of how we played as a team, how I played as a, as a player. Then also it just kind of reflected on the shoe we got. Because I mean, my junior year, man, Jordan really did its thing um, with the four. I mean, I mean, this one goes crazy. The bottom is unreal. It's a clear sole at the bottom. Uh, the bubble on the inside, you kind of see it. It's a, it's a baby blue on the pump in the inside. Marquette logo on the front, of course, got to have it. But the speckles on, you know, the midsole uh, with the with the dark navy blue, and then I wish you guys could feel how the material on this shoe, you know, I mean, it don't me talking about it doesn't do it justice. But it's gonna be out of focus. You know? Yeah, we'll get we'll get the view out there. This is my favorite, if you can't tell. <laughs> Just the material on this. It's a suede um, front. Materials are crazy. It's man. It feels like crazy. It feels unreal. It feels like velvet, almost. Crazy. And listen, suede's perfect. Jordan, Jordan left them a, a gem as a valued member of the Jumpman family. Damn. Personal. You have owned, or yeah, you have owned every step of your journey this season. 
The brand recognizes your love for the game and challenges you to now own your next chapter, March. Right before the tournament. Right before the tournament. Suck. You know, so, I mean, just always a blessing in itself. I mean, this was probably, this was a highlight of the year for me, definitely. Just, you know, getting this shoe. And There's more. And it's cool, it's cool in the in the inside of the tongue, it says Marquette on one and the other, it says basketball, which is really And cool. then another thing, they started doing this this year, actually, the year I got this shoe, on the inside, I don't know if I, I'll, you'll have to, I'll be out of focus. We'll but, do the B-roll. But you see the 12 on the inside, it's a number, it's a 12. What that represents is the number of shoe you get. So there's only a specific number of shoes. I only want to say there's about 23 or 24 pairs, but mine's numbered as 12. And if yours is a legit pair, it'll have that number on the inside. So they did that um, because, you know, people were selling their shoes, so they wanted to be sure whatever number that you got, you, they knew who ended up selling it. So wow, that is big. Because that was a big controversy. That was a big controversy, a big people scandal. Were, with people, people were selling their, selling their shoes. So that was, that's, that's a real kind of a big time selling point too, is that, you know, you're legit if you got that number on the inside. You that's know, crazy. so. That's dope. You know, I, for, I forgot that yeah. that's, what, that's what it meant. Yeah, so. I thought that was the size, but no. Yeah, so um, end cool. in junior year, that was a big one for me. The four, unreal, nice. loved it. Last one, place. senior year. Then, you know, I had to end in senior year. I didn't think they could really do anything to outbeat the four. Well, I was wrong because, honestly, Jordan really snapped with this one. This, is, this one's unreal. The Jordan one, Marquette PE. Marquette on the tongue, as always. Only on the left shoe. Um, Remind yourself. Yes. What is unreal about this shoe is the different types of material. We have Jordan, material talk, talk about the material, Jay. Man, so we got Stingray on the light blue. We got Alligator on the navy. And then we just have like a, um, like a rougher leather on the white, which is crazy. And it's not like a pure white. It's like a little bit of a cream. And then on the midsole is all white. Can't, an, a Jordan OG one, a, a white midsole is perfect. And then you got the yellow bottom. So. The way they put all the materials together is crazy. The I think this there's, there's no better way to end, you know, a college career than, and PE wise, to end with a one. Crazy. Um, you know, that so crazy. that was, I remember hearing at the beginning of the year, because we were always asking after every year, you know, what PE are we getting this year? And, you know, my man JP, he's like, I'll, 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 he, he told us, he said, this will be the best one yet, I think. And he, he told us it was a one. Was too hot, crazy. And it was, it when we so got him, nice. man, I was so excited. It actually was crazy because, when they came into the office, I couldn't necessarily get them right away because I was home right when the season ended or when it was cut, cut off, cut, cut short with COVID. Um, I couldn't have them in my possession. So when I found out they were just sitting in the office, I had to make a call right away. I had to make sure I got them. So um, I, was on my, I was on the edge of my seat for a couple of weeks when um, I knew they were there, but I didn't have them in my possession. So um, thankful to my people down at Marquette to made it happen the way I was able to get mine. So um, yeah. Those are those are grails, and those to get grails. and for PEs like you never for them to not know what numbers they're gonna get, and for you to get a one, a three, and a four. Oh my god! Those are to me the three best retros, and the 13 is a crazy retro too. But not the, the low. one, the like one, those? the three, and the four. The, the for low, you to get man. three for three for those PEs is literally the out best. Out of the park, bro. The best out options, the like these are all the options I would pick. I'm telling you, man. So crazy. Next, you guys want to talk about your favorite one? Yeah, definitely, okay. definitely me the fours. So the yeah. threes after seeing them, it's tied with the three and the fours. I can't even lie, but the know. fours are like my go-to. The four, I think if I if if I had to choose one, if you if, let me ask you this, Jordan, yeah. if you, if if these were mine and I gave you an option that you can have both of them for or one of them for free, what one would you take? Out of all the no 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 the three and the four, the one is disgusting. That's just a one. But I the think, three and I the think four. I would take the four. I think I would take. The Looking four. at them, I think I might. It's, really, al it's almost like see the three? it's almost like yeah, picking yeah, children. Yeah, yeah, Mark's gonna take out the three. It's almost like picking yeah. children, bro. You can't pick your children. You hold one, <laughs> and I'll hold one. I don't know. I got both the ones with the. I honestly don't. Look, know. You hold them like this. I don't know, and, you're, and the one is like up there too, honestly. No, 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 the one I think is just in a different ballpark because of the materials they yeah. use. Like, there's not a shoe like that. I don't know, bro, I don't know. You guys at home, comment, which one would you guys choose out of all of them? What's the best Between one? us, me and Jordan, I think are really trying to decide between these three and the four, but 
I know a lot of you guys at home are probably big fans of ones, um, a lot of 13s, but you know, the fours and the threes. Let me tell you all my favorite pair, all right? So, like, like you said, it's hard to, to like children who don't have a favorite child, and it's tough to choose with these because they all mean something different. I mean, all of them represent a different year. I don't necessarily look at them like a shoe. Um, I look at it as a reflection of the year and the year you had in college, and they all hold something dear to my heart, and they all meant a lot because every year was special. Every year meant a lot to me personally, but there is one shoe that definitely outweighs all of them, and it actually isn't even a retro. Um, you know, so I brought um, my past year, my senior year, these are the Chris Pauls, the uh, latest, uh, model of the Chris Pauls that we got and very comfortable shoe to play in. Love playing them, played in them probably 80% of the year. Um, but the reason why this is my favorite shoe, my favorite Marquette PE, you want to say, that isn't a retro or anything, but just my favorite shoe being at Marquette is because um, I actually wore this shoe. Um, when we played North Dakota State um, before coming home for Christmas and that was a game that Jordan and I became the all-time leading scoring brother duo in college basketball. Um, we, we beat out Steph Curry and Seth Curry um, and that is you know my proudest accomplishment um, because you know it's something that not only me and him accomplished but it's something that we all have you know a part of. Um, you guys understand and watching this channel how close we are as a family and everything we do, we do together. So, um, you know, for me to think about a shoe that's really sentimental to me, that means a lot to me. Um, it's a shoe that represents my family, my brothers. And it's this Chris Paul. It's not as flashy as the retros, but, um, you know, a lot of games were played in this shoe, but the most memorable game, the most meaningful game to me was that game where my brother and I, you know, became stamped in history so um Very dope. yeah so nothing nothing too crazy about the crazy. shoe but definitely that means a lot to me so this will be something i have at home in my case you know for sure perfect i need i need the other shoe in my case one shoe Facts. for your case other shoe for my for case sure. and we'll put the laces in there <laughs> <laughs> take the logos off the tongue <laughs> But, but with that, Marcus has Marcus has 20s and 30 more pairs of PEs like the Chris Paul. We just did mostly retros today, retros. Mm -hmm. But we can show if you guys want to see more of his full PE collection and all the shoes in the Marquette collection, we can do that. We gotta get these boys' collections too because there's this dummy. More I mean, more sneaker videos coming for crazy, sure. Definitely. Crazy. Um, in the comments and everybody, what's your favorite retro? What's your favorite PE and why? And then. We'll see which one y'all think is the best. Who, who out there can top these PEs? I mean, if you got PEs, we want to see them. For and sure. it's all love, you Thanks. know what I mean? But we want to see PEs. You got the Floridas, the Oklahomas, what you got? We would love to see the PEs. We love sure. seeing great sneakers, great quality collections. So comment who has the best sneaker collection in AZ. Johnson, sure. we see you out there. Two J's, we love you. Perfect pair, <laughs> stay perfect. You already know what to do. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. You know what it is. Appreciate it. Appreciate y'all. Right Central Arkansas uh, PE's coming soon. Marquette got the best of them this year, though.